In this video I will show you how to install Minecraft mods. You might be a little bored of the vanilla Minecraft and want to try out some mods. To install them, you will need to close Minecraft and go over to your browser. Now after you have gotten into your browser, select one of the search boxes and write Curse Forge. Then press the enter button and open up the link at the top. Curse Forge is a website for downloading mods. Then you go over to Minecraft and right here you can choose some of the latest mods or you can press view all right here and sort them by a different category, for example, let's do total downloads and find a mod that you need. For example, let's use iron chests, select that mod, and then go into file section right here. After you get to the file section, find the exact game version that you're looking for. For example, for me, I'll just use 1.20.1. .1. Make sure to take note of the version that you're downloading because you will need this information further down the video. Also, this version currently is the latest one, so this might be different for you in the future. Then you will need to check out the mode loaders. For this video, we will be using Forge, so find one that uses Forge. Forge is a middleman between Minecraft and your mods and allows them to work. And after you find the exact file, go over to the right and press the three dots, then press download file. Now you will be redirected to this website where the download will start in a few seconds. Be careful about clicking on some of the ads on this website because they're not the download button, they're just ads. After the download is finished, you can open up a new tab, select one of the search boxes and write Forge. Then press the enter button, open up the link at the top and when you get right here, make sure to select the exact same version of Forge as you did for your Minecraft mod. So for me it was 1.20.1, which is the latest version, and here it is, I can select it on the left. If you're using an older version, you can also select that, and then press the installer button right here. Then you will be redirected to this website, also right here, be careful about the ads, they're just ads, not the download button, and after a few seconds in the top right, you will see a skip button, just press that button, and the download will automatically begin. After you are done with the downloading of the mods, you can close your browser or minimize it. Then you will need to go into File Explorer and go into Downloads. Find the two files we just downloaded and drag them out to your desktop. First off, let's run and install Forge. We can double left click and open up the installer. Now after you have run your Forge installer, you might come across errors such as the installer not opening up at all or a folder opening up instead. To fix them, you will need to download the latest version of Java. Here is how to do that. Just go over to your browser and go over to java.com, then press the download Java button. And once the file downloads, just open up the installer and install Java. It's pretty simple. Another thing to mention is after you download Java and want to open up the Forge installer, that it might open up in a different application. To fix that, just right click the Forge installer, then press open with and right here, locate Java. If it isn't at the top, just press more apps, scroll down, find it, then select it. Make sure to check this box right here and press the OK button. If you still have some issues, you can always run a thing called Jarfix, which will be linked down below in the description. Now you can press install client at the top right here. The folder will be automatically located by Forge and you can press OK. And now we have successfully installed Forge, we can press the OK button and now we should run Minecraft. Now after you open up the launcher, just navigate to the left, press this button right here, then select Forge and press the play button. And now we are inside of Minecraft, as you can see the mods option popped up and Forge in the bottom left. Now we should close Minecraft and after you close Minecraft, you can go over to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button. Then in there write run and open up the application at the top or you can simply just press windows key plus r and in the run prompt in the bottom left just write percentage sign add data percentage sign and the enter button then right here you will need to look at the dot minecraft folder open it up then go over and find the mods folder the mods folder should be automatically created as soon as you run minecraft with forge selected but if it isn't there you can right click then go over to new and then press folder and name it mods. Now let's open up the folder. And after you open up the folder, you can just drag out the mod that you just downloaded. After you have done this, you can relaunch Minecraft. Now after you get into the Minecraft launcher, just select Forge from right here and then press the play button. Here we are inside of Minecraft. Something that I need to mention is that when Minecraft crashes it, when it's opening, it's because the mod versions and Forge versions are different. Make sure they're the same game versions and make sure to delete any outdated mods from the mods folder. 
as you can see now when i press the mod section iron chest pops up right here now let's go into a world to show you how it works and now we are back inside of minecraft we can open up the inventory let's go over to search items and write iron chest and here is the mod we just installed and once you select those items you can place them anywhere you want and as you can see i can open them up that is it for this video thank you for watching see you in the next one